Wisconsin weather for 20 years. Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Today's warm weather will continue into the new month. Let's take a look at your seven day temperature trend. Highs tomorrow will range from the 30s to the 60s. Right now I'm going to call it 52. We'll see widespread 60s on Thursday. That's ahead of a cold front behind the cold front turning sharply colder on Friday. A little bit of a warm up on Saturday and then cooler again as we head through Easter, Monday and Tuesday. Right now away from Lake Michigan, temperatures are mainly in the mid to upper 50s. We've got 58 degrees in Oshkosh, 59 in Berlin. Temperatures have climbed up into the 60s in Wapaka and Watoma. And of course, right near Lake Michigan, it is a whole lot cooler. We are looking at 30s and 40s. All in all, March going out like a lamb. With a lot of sunshine, just a couple of scattered showers and temperatures running well above normal for this time of year. Right now in Appleton, it is 57 degrees. We have mostly sunny skies. It's breezy. We're looking at the exact same scenario in Green Bay, upper 50s and a gusty west to southwest wind at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. NBC 26 precision radar does show those scattered showers north and east of Green Bay here from near Menominee and Marinette across the bay moving through central and northern Door County. Those scattered showers are associated with a weak disturbance that is pushing south and east through Wisconsin this evening. Now our next main weather maker is this area of low pressure now taking shape across southern Canada. To the south of it, we have a warm front. And on the other side of that warm front, it is feeling like late spring or early summer. Temperatures getting up into the 70s and 80s. We've got 60s in Minneapolis, upper 40s in International Falls. This is the air mass that is headed our way as we move through the next couple of days. Now, having said that, we're going to have a southeast wind tomorrow, and that southeast wind is going to be quite gusty. So if we had a westerly wind, just like today, we would all be looking at highs probably in the mid to upper 60s. But that southeast wind is going to bring cooler air in from Lake Michigan and overspread it across most of the Fox Valley and off to the north, which means most of the area is going to be looking at highs that will range from the lower 40s to the mid 50s, but west of Lake Winnebago temperatures will be approaching 70 degrees. Precision cast shows a few showers this evening and then we'll see cloudy skies develop later on tonight as that wind turns to the east off the bay and lake. We'll see a lot of clouds around tomorrow morning. Then kind of a mixture of sun and clouds by the afternoon, a slight chance for an isolated shower. We'll see a line of showers and thunderstorms develop off to our north and west tomorrow night. That'll then sweep through here Thursday morning. You can see that here on Precision Cast, followed by a lot of sunshine as we move into the afternoon. And with a gusty westerly wind behind the morning showers and thunderstorms, it is going to warm up. Temperatures by Thursday afternoon will be well up into the 60s. So your forecast for tonight calls for an early shower. Then we'll turn cloudy once we get past midnight as those winds switch to the north and east. Overnight lows will be near 30. That northeast wind will become southeast tomorrow. It's going to be very gusty as we move into the afternoon. Once again, a wide range of temperatures. 30s right near Lake Michigan, close to 70 across central Wisconsin. I'm going to say 52 degrees for most of the Fox Valley. On Thursday, after some morning showers and thunderstorms, perhaps the first thunderstorm of the year, we'll see a lot of sunshine. It's going to be windy and much warmer area-wide, mid-60s. Northeast winds and clouds cool us down on Friday. Chance for a rain or a snow shower on Saturday. A little bit warmer with some sunshine mixing in as well. Upper 40s, but then it turns cooler again. That does include Easter. Some rain and or snow. It looks like now Easter morning. Lots of clouds on Monday. A chance for some more rain. Maybe a mixture at times. Tuesday into Wednesday with gusterly easterly winds. High temperatures will only be in the 30s to around 40 degrees. Not a great way no. uh, to kick off April. Yeah, tomorrow and the next day, but as we get deeper in April, it kind of goes down a little bit. Plan those Easter egg hunts inside. It yeah, it's, it's possible. Stay tuned. Hopefully we can update the forecast as we get a little bit closer. All right, thanks, Cameron. Yeah. Still ahead, some